Hello and welcome to episode 88 of 66 and yeah today we're going to do something simple just because I want to. So here well, we found this little hole that leads into that big cave system and it does lead round to that one that we put the cave entrance on. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to hide this bit so that you can't see. Oh wrong one. So you can't see it. Just because well we're going to move it back that way but we're going to put one of those you know those little really supposedly rare desert well ones not the one that I built last time the ones that are actually spawn naturally so one two three four and I think I've done it one, oh one two three four one, two, three, four. These are so simple. One, two, three, four. Then you throw slabs in. There, there. There, and there. Then you put. Oh, yeah, these would actually all be one lower, but this is what I said this breaks into the cave. This is why I've chose this location. And um, one, two, two, one, two. And then slab the top. That's it. That's all they are. I know this one's built against the oh, the edge of the hill, but that's all they are. That is it. And then a block in the middle. Uh, block in the middle. So that's what those wells are. That's how they spawn naturally. But obviously. This one has a, a huge cave underneath it. Wrong one. That was silly. Get rid of that because it will annoy me. Um, we have actually got night vision up here as well. We'll just do that. So it's a bit brighter for you all. Why not? Right. So let's fill the whole layer across just because it'd be a lot safer. No chance of it breaking through anywhere that we don't want it to then. Just go all the way around everywhere. There we go. So that's where the water level is. This is where the floor level is. Yep. Yep. That's it, isn't it? We could, if we wanted to, actually put hole in the floor. Just do that way. Uh, water. We didn't have water, did we? No, we did not have any water. There's no water anywhere. Right, let's just put this block in for now and then fill with water. Fill with water. Fill with water. That's it, you see. That's how you find them naturally generated around the world. This one just happens to lead all the way down to here. Like if you wanted this to be look more like a cave, you could just like Minecraft naturally did it for you. I oh, don't be silly. Why does that do that? Bit weird in it the way water works. See? Very strange. But yeah. That's more natural. Wow, that goes all the way down as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. More natural looking anyway. So don't fall down the well, or you'll end up in the cave. Simple. Four minute video. Shall we leave it there? No, let's build a little few things. Just why not? Just a couple of little bits. Just a couple of little things. But I don't know what yet. Um, stone slabs. I suppose we could put a campfire in, couldn't we? A little campfire. I think I'll go for one of those campfires that I did over there. Not the, not with the blaze, obviously. That's just ridiculous. We don't want the actual blaze there. 
So if you want to know how to do this fire, break down a little plus sign like that and then replace the four around the middle one with your never rack. And then grab yourself a flint and steel. We do not seem to have one at the moment because we are totally forgetful. So light all four of those. They look very pretty, don't they? Yes, they do. So place on there and just build off over the top of the two flames like so. And then you can do the same on the opposite corner. Oh, I didn't mean to break it like so. And then you can place whatever you require in the bottom. I like to put a slab like so. That way, if you fall in, oh, you can get out. But it looks like a fire. It smokes like a fire. But it's totally safe. And you can't burn yourself in survival. So that's why I like it so much. Because, yes, it does look nice. It looks like a fire. doesn't matter what side you approach it from. You can see it's a fire. You think, hmm, yes, that's hot. But you can stand in your fire. See? Makes sense. It's quite dark in there. There's no torches, is there? Let's go around and do some of this little meaningless, tired little pieces of... Yeah, that'll do. That'll be bright enough. Should be bright enough. It's a shame you can't place torches on posts yet, isn't it? That would be pretty cool. Right, let's have a look in the other little tent. Oh, we didn't put any torches around here, did we? Right, there we go. Torch in there. Where else? Da, 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 da. Right, let's put a little torch on top of there. Why not? Why not indeed? We've got a few torches around here. Where are all the villagers anyway? Let's have a look. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, there's one. Oh, they're all over here, look. No one in here? No, no one home. Open all their doors, it really annoys them. Excuse me. No, I don't want to trade. I want you to excuse me. No, don't want you to trade. That's it. No, thank you. Just want to open your door to annoy you. Right, what have we got? Anything in the... No, nothing in the storeroom, obviously. Anything? Oh, hello, mate. How are you doing? Oh, you work here, do you? Oh, you do now. Because I'm going to trap you in. I'm going to trap you in just for now so you can't get out. Um, I don't know how I'm going to keep them in there, though. Uh, what can we actually put down to keep them in that isn't too... Does carpet trick them into... Can they still jump on carpet? I'm not sure. Should we check? Shall we check? Let's put some... Hmm, pick a colour. Any colour. What would you like? Should we just do white? I think they can though, can't they? I think they can. We'll soon find out anyway, because if he can jump over there, he will jump over there. I know he can't get out of here until you open it for him. No, they can. Right. Well, that was a waste of time. We need to find some way of trapping villagers in. How can you do it? It's... Um, Let's have a look what blocks we've got. Something we know they can't jump over. I don't know. What is there that they can't jump over that doesn't stick up too much? What about... We should have... No, because he can jump onto the edge, can't he? Hmm. Hmm. Bit of an awkward one. No, we'll just leave it. Just open it. They might walk behind there on their own. You never know. So, yes, this is our mine entrance, isn't it? What did we do down here? We had a little bit down here, didn't we? Had a little bit of a, a room. And that led you into the mines. Dun, dun, dun. Too dark down there. Not going down there. Yeah, so this was like your little store, little mine. I haven't actually got a little bedroom though, is there? Should have put like a little... Well, no, you got there to mine, wouldn't you? You got there to sleep and come down to mine. Back up there. You'd probably have a little bedroom about halfway down. Maybe we'll do that in the future. But then that mine leads all the way over to there, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's go down the well. Let's take a little potion. Now we'll jump down this well. Because I know how to get there from here. If we go down the well. And all the way round. Oh, wrong way. 
all the way back. I said I said I know the way from here. And then I go this is like oh it's up and over no. Typically oh there it is. I'm saying there's a little way. Wow, look that water does go a long way, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Wow, it even drops down to that level. Look, that one piece of water we've put down goes all the way down here. Look at that. Wow. Just runs all the way through the cave system. Look at that. Oh. Made contact with some lava. That's pretty impressive, that. <laughs> that one piece that we... That one piece that we placed. It's come all that way into the bottom of the epic ravine look at that natural cobblestone generator <laughs> love it yeah so where's that door gone somewhere in this ravine there is a door um, not this bit might be around the other side look at the size of this thing though. it's well good isn't it? really nice ravine pull this iron up here the size of it Massive great ravine. Gold. Plenty of stuff. Look. More under there. See? Really cool cave system. That's why I put a mine entrance at the top of it. Look. Lots of corridors. Lots of iron. Just from here you can see pure iron. So. What to do with all this I don't know. I did think about putting like wooden walkways around it all. But. This is only one of the ravines as well. There is another part of it. If I can find how to get to it. This isn't even the part with the door. I don't think. You can't miss the door. But I don't know where it is. We are in a completely different ravine. And I wouldn't know how to find my way out of here. I do know that they are connected. If you just nip down on a couple of these, see, look how big this place is. Lapis, anyone? Oh, come out in a different part of the ravine. Is that even the same part of the same ravine, or is that? Yeah, that is the same one, isn't it? Same one, same huge ravine. Is that the same one? Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's another part of it. But, yeah. See? On survival, you'd be in here for days, wouldn't you? Look at it everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's something you want. Is that the way we just went down? Yeah. All leads round to the same place. Look. Diamond, diamond, diamonds, diamonds. There's dangerous corridors underneath. Right. Oh, I can't even remember where I came in now. It wasn't there, was it? I came from down here somewhere, didn't I? This was it. The way we came down. Followed the maze of water that we placed follow your own water all the way oop, all the way back up that, that leads all the way back up that one bit of water that we placed yeah so as I was saying if we go it's not this way is it yeah this way no where is it now the water's confused me. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. And that's a dead end. Yeah. All of it's a dead end apart from that one way that we can go down here. And I must have gone the wrong way last time. Up this way and round, yes. I think it is. This looks familiar. 
And how can you say that about K bar? Yeah, this looks, yeah. That's exactly what I did last time. I remember that little doorway is a dead end. Right, not building anything, are we? This is bad. This is bad. Right, so follow this wall around. I don't think we go down. No, you don't. You see, you don't go down. We'll stay here. And the doorway is there. We were flying around down there and not seeing it because we were too low. So this one leads to the other one. So this big mine system that you know you can clearly see there is all linked together. Leads to this path which goes all the way. Cuts into the mine a couple more times on the way. But it basically goes all the way across. So it cuts into the mine there again. I can't remember that water being there. All the way down. Cuts into the mine again. This is a different mine system. It is kind of linked to the other one, but very, very only just. All the way down. More mine. More mine. See, we will work on some of this stuff under the ground at another time. Let's give you a little mine tour. See, this is a whole different mine system. Whole lot more ores. Whole lot more iron. Definitely loads of coal. Always loads of coal. The ladders are all leads to this same little bit of this mine system. And then that leads down, just leads down to. Oh, yeah, all this bit's kind of linked together as well. And then this leads nowhere. The end of the world. That's the end of the map. So that's all that leads to. But there is. I'm sure. You go up here. Leads you to this a little bit up here. And I'm sure if you come around here somewhere. I've lost where it is. I think it's up this one. No. Oh, this is why I don't like going into caves because caves they always get lost is that the one I just went up there so that's that one there you see that leads to there <laughs> that leads back round and down to there so all them two are both linked together they don't actually go anywhere um, yeah this is just to a different mine system so it's all linked together that's all it is so I think we were going to put a way out but we changed, I changed my mind I think. Well I think there might be a way out if you can find it. What are we at now? 18 minutes just flying around the mine. Um, yeah, I'm sure there might actually be, if I remember correctly, a way out. But we're not gonna find it now are we? So that's just the path again look all this leads around see the same path as I said it just keeps cutting through the same mine over and over so let's get out of here anyway see massive massive mine all the way through just keeps chopping through all the mines Does that water lead all the way up and out No. Just checking that we haven't broke something up the top and flooded it unnecessarily. But no. It must have been there. Whoops. Right, now we're back in that ravine, aren't we? Now, we're never going to find our way out. Um, where's that water? Is this that water? Follow the water. Follow the water. That's the wrong water. That was clever of me. Right, last, last 30 odd seconds. Let's see, right. So where's the water that I followed down? I didn't follow it down, did I? This is that water that just leads to there. And then it's from there, is it? So I said it's like a maze, this thing. 
No, that's the dead end that I went, didn't I? It's the other way. It's the up way. Yes, we're getting there. I'm sure we're getting there now. Yes, yes, that is the water we need. Right, 20 minutes. Showing you the big mine. So, a well, a campfire, and a mine explorer. Ex what's it called? An exploration. That's it. I've got to spell that now for the title. Damn, why did I say it? Right, <laughs> that would do. A well, a fire, and a mine exploration. Come on, Google, don't fail me now. See you later.